A fiddler on the roof. Sounds crazy, no? But in our little village of Vanitevka, you might say every one of us is a fiddler on the roof. Tried to scratch out a pleasant, simple tune without breaking his neck. It isn't easy. You may ask, why do we stay up there if it's so dangerous? We stay because Anatevka is our home. And how do we keep our balance? That I can answer in a word. Tradition. Tradition. We have a tradition for everything. How to eat, how to sleep, even how to wear clothes. For example, we always keep our heads covered and we wear these little prayer shawls. This shows our constant devotion to God. You may ask, how did this tradition begin? I'll tell you. I don't know, but it's a tradition. Because of our traditions, everyone knows who he is and what God expects him to do. Day and night must scramble for a living, feed a wife and children, say his daily prayers, and who has the right as master of the house to have the final word at home? The Papa! And most important, a 
our beloved rabbi. Rabbi, rabbi, may I ask you a question? Certainly, my son. Is there a proper blessing for the czar? A blessing for the czar? Of course. May God bless and keep the czar far away from us. <laughs> Others in our village, they make a much bigger circle. His honor, the priest. His honor, the constable. His honor, eh, many, many more. We don't bother them, and so far, they don't bother us. And amongst ourselves, we get along perfectly well. Of course, there was the time when he sold him a horse, but delivered a mule. But that's all settled now. Now we live in perfect peace and harmony, and everyone seems to get it along. It was a horse. It was a mule. No, it was a horse. It was a mule. No, it was a horse. It was a mule. It was a horse. <laughs> She's in the barn, milking. When will Papa be home? It's almost Sabbath, and he worries a lot when he'll be home. All day long, riding on top of his wagon like a prince. <laughs> Mama, you know that Papa works hard. His horse works harder. And you don't have to defend your Papa to me. I know him longer than you. He could drive a person crazy. He should only live and be well. Sprinza, bring me some more potatoes. Papa, did you finish milking? Yes, Mama. You were reading again. Why does the girl have to read? Will it get her a better husband? Go. Mama, Yenta's coming. She's down the road. Maybe she's finally found a good match for you, Zidal. From your mouth to God's ears. Why does she have to come now? It's almost Sabbath. Go finish in the barn. I want to talk to Yenta alone. Mama, can I go out and play? You have feet? Go. Can I go too? Go too. But Mama, the men she finds. The last one was so old and he was bald. He had no hair. A poor girl without a dowry can't be so particular. You want hair? Marry a monkey. After all, Mama, I'm not yet 20 years old, and Shut I... Up! Do you have to boast about your age? Do you want to tempt the evil eye? Inside. Golda, darling, I had to see you because I have such news for you. And not every day in the week news. Once in a lifetime news. And where are your daughters outside now? Good. Such diamonds, such jewels. You'll see, Goldie, I'll find every one of them a husband. But you shouldn't be so picky. Even the worst husband, God forbid, is better than no husband, God forbid. And who should know better than me? Ever since my husband died, I've been a poor widow, alone, no one to talk to, nothing to say to anyone. It's no life. All I do at night is think of him, and even thinking of him gives me no pleasure, because you know as well as I, he was not much of a person, never made a living, everything he touched turned to mud, but better than nothing. Good evening. Is Zaito in the house? Yes, but she's busy. You can come back later. But there's something I'd like to tell her. Later. Oh, model, I thought I heard you. Finish what you were doing. I said later. All right. 
What does that poor little tailor model want with Zeidel? They've been friends since they were babies together. They talk, they play. They play? What do they play? Who knows? They're just children. From such children come other children. <laughs> Mottle? He's a nothing. Yento, you said that you had... Ah, children, children. They are your blessing in your old age. But my Aaron couldn't give me children. Believe me, he was as good as gold. Never raised his voice to me. But otherwise, not much of a man. So what good is it if he never raised his voice? But what's the use complaining? Other women enjoy complaining. But not Yenta. Not every woman in the world is a Yenta. Well... I must go and prepare my poor Sabbath table. So, goodbye, Golde, and it's been a pleasure talking our hearts out to each other. Yenta, you said you had news for me. Oh, I'm losing my head. One day it'll fall off altogether and the horse will kick it into the mud. And goodbye, Yenta. Of course, <laughs> the news. It's about Laser Wolf the Butcher, a good man, a fine man, and I don't have to tell you that he's well off. But he's lonely, the poor man. You understand. Of course you do. But to make it short, out of the whole town, he's cast his eye on Zeidel. My Zeidel? No, the Tsar Zeidel. Of course you're Zeidel. Such a match for my Zeidel. But Tevye wants a learned man. He doesn't like laser. Listen to me, Golde. Send Tevye to him. Don't tell him what it's about. Let Laser discuss it himself. He'll win him over. He's a good man, a wealthy man, true? True. So, you'll tell me how it went, and you don't have to thank me, Golde. Because aside from my fee, which anyway Laser will pay, it gives me satisfaction to make people happy. And what better satisfaction is there? So, goodbye, Golde, and you're welcome. What did she want, Mama? When I want you to know, I'll tell you. Get to washing the floor. I wonder if Yenta found a husband for you. I'm not anxious for Yenta to find me a husband. Not unless it's Model the tailor. I didn't <laughs> ask you. Seidel, you're the oldest. They have to make a match for you before they can make one for me. And then after her, one for me. So if Yenta brings. Oh, Yenta, Yenta. Well, somebody has to arrange the matches. Young people can't decide these things for themselves. She might bring someone wonderful. Someone interesting. And well off. And important. Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. Find me a find, catch me a catch. Matchmaker, matchmaker, look through your book and make me a perfect match. Matchmaker, matchmaker, Make
Today, I am a horse. Dear God, did you have to make my poor old horse lose his shoe just before the Sabbath? That wasn't nice. <laughs> it's enough that you pick on me, Tevia. Bless me with five daughters, a life of poverty. But what do you have against my horse? <laughs> Sometimes I think when things are too quiet up there, you say to yourself, let's see. What kind of mischief can I play on my friend Tavia? <laughs> You're finally here, my breadwinner. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Where's your horse? He was invited to the blacksmith for the Sabbath. Well, hurry up. The sun won't wait for you. And I have something to say to you. Uh, yes, yes. As the good book says, heal us, O Lord, and we shall be healed. Or in other words, send us the cure. We have the sickness already. <laughs> I'm not really complaining. After all, with your help, I'm nearly starving to death. <laughs> you made many, many poor people. I realize, of course, there's no shame in being poor. But it's no great honor either. So what would have been so terrible if I had had a small fortune? If I was a rich man, all day long I'd be really bum. If I was a wealthy man, I wouldn't have to work hard. If I were a pretty, pretty rich, I'd be. House with rooms by the dozen right in the middle of the town. A fine tin roof and real wooden floors below. There could be one large staircase just going up and one even longer going down. And one more leading nowhere just for show. I'd fill my yards with chicks and turkeys and geese and ducks for the town to see it here. Squawking just as noisily as they can. And every would sound like a trumpet to the ear, as if to say, Here lives a wealthy man. Most important men in town would come to fawn on me. They would ask me to advise them. Like Solomon the Wise, would you please, Reptavia, pardon me, Reptavia, posing problems that would cross a rabbi's eyes. But in why? But in why? What bitter difference if I answer right or wrong? When you're rich, they think you really know. If I were rich, I'd have the time that I lack to sit in a synagogue and pray. Maybe have a seat by the Eastern Wall. 
can't hide disgust the holy books with the learned man seven hours every day that's order for the Sabbath. Ah, Red Morecambe, I, I had a little accident with my horse. Tevia, you didn't bring the rabbi's order. I know, Red Mendel, I Tevia, know, I know. you forgot my order for the Sabbath. This is bigger news than the plague in Odessa. Talking about news, <laughs> terrible news in the outside world. Terrible. What is it? What does it say? In the village called Rajenka, all the Jews were evicted, forced to leave their homes. For what reason? It doesn't say. Maybe the Tsar won their land. Maybe a plague. May the Tsar have his own personal plague. Oh, Amen. Juan, don't you ever bring us any good news? I only read it. It was an edict from the authorities. May the authorities start itching in places that they can't reach. Amen. Amen. Why do you curse them? What good does your cursing do? You stand there and you curse and chatter, and you don't do anything. You'll all chatter your ways into the grave. Excuse me, you're not from this village. No. And where are you from? Kiev. I was a student in the university there. Ah, the university. Is that where you learn to criticize your elders? That is where I learn there is more to life than talk. You should all know what is going on in the outside world. Why should I break my head about the outside world? Let them break their own heads. You know, he's right. As the good book says, if you spit in the air, it lands on your face. That's nonsense. You can't close your eyes to what's happening in the world. He's right. He's right. And he's right? How can they both be right? You know, you're also right. <laughs> he's right. He's still wet behind the ears. Good Sabbath, Good Sabbath Tevia. Tevia. Good Sabbath. Tevia, the rabbi's order. My cheese? Of course, of course. So you're from Kiev, Reb? Uh... Perchik. Ah, Perchik, yes. Uh, so you're a newcomer here. As Abraham once said, I am a stranger in a strange land. Moses said that. Forgive me. As King David put it, I am slow of speech and slow of tongue. That was also Moses. For a man with a slow tongue, he talked a lot. And the cheese? Uh, yes. Uh, ah, here. Take a piece. I have no money. And I'm not a beggar. Oh, please. It's a blessing for me to give. Very well, then. For your sake. Ah, thank you. You know, it's no crime to be poor. Mm. In this world, it is the rich who are the criminals. Someday their wealth will be ours. Ah, that would be nice. If they would agree, I would agree. And who will make this miracle come to pass? People. Ordinary people. Like you? Like me. Nonsense! <laughs> and how will you live until that golden day comes, Red Perchik? By giving lessons to children. Do you have children? I have five daughters. Five? Daughters. <laughs> Girls should learn. Girls are people. Radical! <laughs> I would be willing to teach them. Open their minds to great thoughts. What great thoughts? Well, the Bible has many lessons for our times. I am a very poor man. Food for lessons? Good, 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 good. Come, spend the Sabbath with us. 
Of course, we don't eat like kings, but we don't starve either. As the good book says, when a poor man eats a chicken, one of them is sick. Where does the good book say that? Well, okay, it doesn't say that, but somewhere in there, there's something about a chicken. <laughs> good Sabbath. Good Sabbath. Good Sabbath. Good Sabbath, children! Good Sabbath, Papa! <laughs> children, this is Perchek. Perchek, this is my oldest daughter. Good Sabbath. Good Sabbath. You have a pleasant daughter. <laughs> I have five pleasant daughters. <laughs> this one's mine. 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 This one. This one's not mine. Perchek. This is Mottle Cam's oil. So you did me a favor and came in. This one's also mine. <laughs> Golda, this is Perchek from Kiev. He is staying the Sabbath with us. He is a teacher. Would you like to take lessons? <laughs> I am a really good teacher. A very good teacher. I heard once the rabbi who must praise himself has a congregation of one. <laughs> Your daughter has a quick and witty tongue. Uh, yes. <laughs> the wit she gets from me, as the good book says. The good <laughs> book can wait. Get washed. The tongue she gets from her mother. <laughs> Mottle, you're also eating with us? Of course. Another blessing. Seidel, two more. Sprints up Yelka. Get washed. Mottle can help me. Get the table. All right, Hava, you go too. You can wash outside at the well. Tevya, I have something to say to you. Why should today be any different? Tevya, I have to tell you Shh, that... I'm praying. Laser Wolf wants to see you. The butcher? About what? Oh, I don't know. Only that he says it's important. What can be important? I have nothing for him to slaughter. After the Sabbath, see him and talk to him. Talk to him about what? If he wants my new milk cow, he can forget it. Tevya, don't be an ox. A man sends you an important message. At least you can talk to him. Talk to him about what? He wants my new milk cow. Talk to him. All right. After the Sabbath, I'll talk to him. Model Lienta was here. I saw her. If they agree on someone, there will be a match, and then it will be too late for us. But don't worry, Seidel. I found someone. He will sell me his used sewing machine. So in a few weeks, I will save them enough to buy it, and then your father will be impressed with me. But, Model, a few weeks may be too late. But what else can we do? You could ask my father for my hand tonight. Now! Why should he consider me now? I'm only a poor tailor. And I'm only the daughter of a poor milkman. Just talk to him. Zidal, if your father says no, that's it. It's final. He'll yell at me. Model! I'm just a poor tailor. Model, even a poor tailor is entitled to some happiness. That's true. Will you talk to him? Will you talk to him? All right. I'll, I'll talk to him. It's late. Where is everybody? It's late. Reb Tevya. Come, children, come. It's time to light the candles. Reb Tevya. What? What is it? Well, what is it, Mottle? Good Sabbath, Reb Tevya. Good Sabbath, good Sabbath. Come, children, come.